so now we can apply the taylor series so according to the taylor series y of x is nothing but y0 plus y0 dash plus y0 double dash plus y0 triple dash plus y0 fourth derivative plus y0 fifth derivative plus y0 sixth derivative plus y0 seventh derivative because we need up to four decimal that's why we are going till seventh derivative here we have h upon one factorial h square upon two factorial h cube upon three factorial h raised to four upon four factorial h raised to five upon five factorial h raised to six upon six factorial h raised to seven upon seven factorial now we need to find the value of y at x equal to 0.4 so y of 0 is 0 h now is 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 y0 dash is 1 plus 0.4 square upon 2 factorial y0 double dash is 0 so into 0 plus h cube that is 0.4 the whole cube upon 3 factorial y0 triple dash so y0 triple dash is minus 4 so into minus 4 plus h raised to 4 that is 0.4 the whole raised to 4 upon 4 factorial y0 fourth derivative is 0 so into 0 plus 0.4 the whole raised to 5 upon 5 factorial into fifth derivative of y and fifth derivative of y is 32 so into 32 plus h raised to 6 that is 0.4 the whole raised to 6 upon 6 factorial into y0 of sixth derivative y0 of sixth derivative we have calculated here which is 0 plus h raised to 7 that is 0.4 the whole raised to 7 upon 7 factorial into y0 7th derivative y0 7th derivative we have calculated as minus 384 so we have minus 384 so this term will become 0 this term will become 0 and this term will become 0 so we have y of 0.4 as 0.4 into 1 will be 0.4 and we calculate this term this term turns out to be minus 0 0.0426 plus when we calculate this term this term turns out to be 0 0.00273 and when we calculate this term this term turns out to be 0 0.00012 when we add all these things we will get this term as 0 0.35994 but we need only four decimals so we will one two three four but here is 4 so we will neglect this 4 so our y will be 0 0.3599 at x equal to 0.4 so this is the value of y in 4 decimals at x equal to 0.4 so this is how we solve the problem on taylor series so this is it for the numerical methods more such concepts we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures